on Daybreak, we get a first look at a free mega medical clinic at Lucas Oil Stadium that starts Sunday. Medical and dental services, you don't need insurance. News 8's Amisha Ramsey joins us live at Lucas Oil Stadium. Quite a transformation, Amisha. That's right. Well, good morning, Kylie and Scott. For the next couple of days, Lucas Oil Stadium will transform into a mega hospital where people can come out for free. Now, the four day event is at Lucas Oil Stadium. Starts on Sunday. Doors will open at 10 a.m. and close at 5 p.m. And Monday through Wednesday, doors will open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Now, more than 2,000 volunteers will help serve the public. And out of them, half are licensed medical professionals. Now, services will be on a first come first serve basis. No identification or insurance information is required. The event is organized by your best pathway to health, a nonprofit focus on health and wellness in partnership with Seventh Day Adventist Church. Now the goal is to provide health care for Hoosiers in need and access. I want to introduce you to CEO Yvonne Golubic. Just come over here for a second. We'll talk about the event. Y y Yvonne, can you tell me just what can people expect as far as the medical services that they'll receive? So, so today uh, or on Sunday, we're going to start with dental medical services. We're going to do vision, including free glasses, and a number of other medical services such as primary care, skin care, uh, orthopedics, uh, pediatrics, women's health, and a list of other medical services. Pro pretty much any outpatient treatment we can provide in the stadium, we will provide for free. Absolutely, Yvonne. Access is super important. I know today yeah. there will be a lot of setting up, which we'll show a little bit earlier or later, excuse me. But what are the volunteers? Are they able to handle the volume of people that will be coming in? Because we're expecting at least 1,000 a day. Yeah, we, we are definitely prepared to handle the volume. We have over 2,000 volunteers coming from all over the country. About half of them come here from Indiana, but the rest of it is flying in. So we've done this before about eight times. We have done it uh, well, and uh, we are looking forward to Sunday. Right. They've done this in other cities across the, the U.S., and this is what their first time here in Indianapolis. Uh, just how does this make you feel knowing that you can kick it off and start it up, especially on Easter Sunday? Yeah, it's... Restart after COVID has been very, very difficult. Uh, but what a better way than to do it on Easter Sunday to show, uh, to sacrifice our parts of our lives in a, a week uh, after the ultimate sacrifice that we've experienced uh, on Easter. So uh, we no better way to start than on Easter Sunday. Absolutely, Yvonne, thank you so much. We will go inside and show you all the setup that will be happening. It will start on Sunday, so lines are expected to be pretty long, so you should show up pretty early to make sure that you can get in and uh, get the services that you need. But for now, we'll send it back to the studio reporting live in downtown Indianapolis. Amisha Ramsey, WishTV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.